foreign exchange, Senator from Plateau, the issue of foreign exchange is clearly uppermost in the minds of the monetary authorities. What I can say is this, for a country that has revenue flows from oil revenues, from remittances, from other non-oil exports, and from financing of over $100 billion a year, there is no reason that there should not be a stable exchange rate, all other things being equal, and provided inflation is kept under control. The 860 or so that we are seeing is not backed up by the fundamentals of the Nigerian economy. The rate, when you move aside speculation, and the fact that there was an, in, uh, the fact that there is, as a result of the foreign exchange management practices of the past, the inefficiencies and the corruption involved, has meant that there is an overhang. There is an overhang of unpaid dollar bills. And that is what is putting pressure on the exchange rate. And that is what night and day the monetary authorities and the monetary team of Mr. President is looking to resolve by raising revenue, by looking at other sources of investment funding, by attracting investment funds, equity funds, not debt, from those around the world interested in investing in the Nigerian economy. Let us remember, it is not quite two weeks that Turkey, that is by no means a darling of the Bretton Woods institutions, World Bank, IMF, and so forth, in terms of its monetary policies and its economic management. Turkey attracted $50 billion in investment funding of projects in that country from UAE. It is in such directions that the solution to the overhang, to the shortage of liquidity in the foreign exchange market is being sought. The whole gamut, including increases in oil production as a result of greater security.